But, boys, we want to go watch Unending Dawn, okay? It is a game we looked at a very long time ago. And let me bring it up. I want to show you something as well. Should I start the stream, but I'll show it again. We have kept an eye on this game for a very, very long time. We saw this game like eight months ago, and they said nothing. Man, it's been so long. It's been so long, but... We now have more info about this really cool looking Dark Souls-esque gacha game. I'm gonna say gacha game-esque situation. Cause it was, it looked so hype, man. It looks so goddamn hype. What happened to my hairline? Uh, it actually snapped forward. I went to Turkey. I met up with a few guys, you know, gobble ghoul, bada bing, bada boom. And we figured it out. Okay. But nonetheless, it has been eight months. They have actually bestowed upon us more information. Seven minutes to be precise of new gameplay. Uh, and more importantly, above all else, apparently it looks good. Ooh, this game looks pretty good, man. Uh, also, I might do a lot of pausing. I want to say might, I mean I will do a lot of pausing. I've seen the second half of this game, so I have a loose idea of how it's going to feel, all that kind of stuff. What I'm going to be doing, though, is I'm going to be pausing at points to kind of explain stuff I can see in the HUD, the way the game looks and the way it plays, just to kind of get an idea of what we're kind of looking at. Because... It could, it could, um, it could bit the shed, you know what I mean? It could, it could not be good. It could very much be a disaster. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, let's check out an ending, Don. Follow you on TikTok? Thank you, bye. Oh, dude, already cutscene? Mwah. Eh? Are we going to go? Travel? Hello? Okay, you have my attention. Okay, already, I know it's basic. I'm gonna just say this. The character design. <laughs> the following content is recorded directly from an early version work in progress not represent the final quality of the game. Okay. Fine. Okay. <laughs> this is this is straight up the fight with the dog, uh, the wolf in the mage, um, the mage academy in Elden Ring. But hey, I'm not mad because Elden Ring, we all love that game. That fucking perfect. I'm not mad if they draw direct inspiration. That is that is to me a benefit. Oh, can Holy parry system. Okay, so... Posture bar, just like Sekiro. Interesting. Dude, it looks very flowy. Did she just kick the shit out of him? Wait a minute. <laughs> okay, there's traps. Oh no. Oh, not the traps. Dude, I beg there's no mimics because holy shit, we're going to pull a free run on that. I, I, I have to open the chest, dude. I, I just absolutely have to. Wait, that looks sick, dude. Uh, Iosauron? Okay. Is 
This game looks sick. Oh, we ain't even done yet. You aren't ready for this? Um, I am. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. <laughs> Oh man. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Eh, eh. Okay, perfect dodges? They have perfect dodges in the game. Dude. So, okay, first thing. Sekiro deflect system. Yes, exactly. It is exactly it's posture build. See? Boss posture, your posture. But the one thing I noticed at the very start, you got perfect dodges like fucking Neo Automata did. It looks nuts. My only concern is it's not really a concern, but how are you gonna make this a gacha game? I'm starting to think this is more just an ARPG, right? I've got the weird feeling it's gonna just be kind of be like a Single player release, but hey, if they somehow make this live service, that's that's gonna be really interesting to see how they pull that off. It could make or break the game. There's all the characters. I mean, yeah, you can't. I guess ultimate, nice. Uh, I guess you make a good point. Like, it it probably is gonna be a case of do you want to play with a polon? Do you want to play with a bow? Like, instead of having classes you pick between. It's characters that obtain the classes, right? So it's like your 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 class blocked via the character you have to use for that class. That's probably the way they do it. But like to have it as an ongoing, persisting game that has events, that has banners upcoming, all that kind of stuff. That's going to be interesting to see how they keep that. You know what I mean? Holy posture, dude! Did you see how much I gave? Wait a minute! Ready? Holy hell! This guy kind of moves around like Radan a little bit. All right, nearly a boss break. What, what happens? Okay, phase two. All right, what's what's phase two cooking? The animation details of the game. Yeah, they look really nice, like really nice. All right, phase two. What are you cooking? Okay, okay, you're did. You're did. Alright, two, down to two Estus Floss. Okay. How much did you get? Rock'em sock'em for that one. Wait a minute. Okay, so 
So we're just over two S to slot here for the HP. Ready? Okay. 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 It's like a fucking Mack truck. Does a character switch? Oh my god, I am blind. You are right. That is quite literally a sword user. When the fuck did that happen? Did it happen halfway? Okay, pole arm. I actually didn't notice this. Oh! Okay, I was gonna say the ca- Okay, so the camera angle changes, you- You combo into your following characters. That's good. That is really good that they integrated that. That- That's hype. So it sounds crazy? Oh, dude. Sound design's really good in this game. Oh, no, they got grabs. Oh, they got grabs. Oh, you don't even show the ending of the fight? What do you mean? You end it on this? Oh, that's so annoying. Just finish it, bruh. Oh, man. Does it have a release date? No. Uh, all we know about it originally was the trailer that they're about to show here. Um, and yeah, this is the new bit here. This, this gameplay stuff is the stuff that just dropped. This might sound crazy to some of you, but... It just look how quick the posture bar goes up, like when you're in fights. For me? I think it's easy. I, my, look, I haven't got hands on the game. I don't know how it feels. It could be a lot harder, you know, actually doing it than saying it. But for me, this is going up way too quickly. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm being way too much of a like Dark Souls purist, something like that. I like difficult games. Compared to Elden Ring or Grit? Yeah, well, like, Elden Ring doesn't really have a posture bar, per se. But, like, compared directly to Sekiro, like, say, the Butterfly Lady, the Owl, um, it's, it, it feels, it feels like it's skyrocketing up that bitch, right? This feels like a game that you verse heavy hitters, but they can't take that much of a hit themselves. But again, this is, a, this is literally a test build of the game. It says that at the start. Do not crucify the game. Do not live or die by what it is telling you. It is an early version that is a work in progress. Okay. First boss like you're training for the game? Maybe it is. It's it's very... Dude, the, the orchestra, the music, everything is on par. The character design. Dude, this little bit here. She got her arm ripped off, man. Dude, it... It is so clean. I love the look of this. There's a little extra that you didn't see? You mean post-gameplay? Oh, like it was in a different trailer. Because this trailer we already had. I This is the trailer that we did watch. I don't want to subject you guys to it again. Um, If there is something in the other video that you linked... They just don't have it here? Okay, let me, let me, let me get the other video up. Give me two seconds. And... That? <laughs> w character design. Holy shit, that, that, that's nice. I like that. I like it, dude. Look, look at the eyes, Oriar. Oriar. A little goofy, but we love that. Nice. Uh, overall, Unending Dawn looks really, really hype. I cannot wait to fucking get my hands on this game. They're probably going to do a beta. It seems like the fucking way to release gacha games now. Truly a wood? It's a big wood. Big wood. Oh, 
I'm seeing this. Am I? Am, uh, is there a. Okay. Not by the look of things. I was going to say, is there a. I thought I was going to have a release date. No. Uh, no release date. Nothing like that yet. But. It is a game I think we should all put. Like. Is there's no pre registration? No, there's nothing like that. I think it is very early days. Like, we won't see this game until, like, I think the earliest we could potentially see Unending Dawn is early, to, uh, is late 2025. Um, I'd say, like, October, November 2025, if I'm being painfully honest. As much as I don't want that to be true, it's just, it's just the nature of the beast. It's how you, it's how you release gacha games. Uh, you, you take a long ass time to get the hype up, to get all that kind of stuff. Kind of what Zandalone Zero is doing. As much as I disagree with Zandalone Zero, it's, it works for some Genshin fans, I guess, because I don't know who else is fucking hype for it. Uh, but yeah, this game, I think we should really keep a, keep an eye on. They're going to release some more information on it, for sure. And the good thing about all of this, the more gacha games that get released, it presses all the other gacha games from different companies to be really good. So in other words, as a premier, it's going to have to compete with fucking Genshin and ZZZ. ZZZ's going to have to compete with Unending Dawn, because ZZZ is apparently meant to be difficult. There's a whole lot of things to look at. More gacha games on the horizon is a genuine good thing. And it is... It's bringing out some good looking games. Now, you know, I say this at the end of every review we do. Where the fuck is Project Mugen? It's been... <laughs> it's been seven months to the day since we got an info on it. Like, come on, man.